Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Pulse Check Podcast. Guys, we've been on a little hiatus for a little bit. I do apologize. There's been World Series of Warzone scrims, a bunch of tournaments going on. But we are back for a very, very special occasion. And it is the announcement of the World Series of Warzone location and date. But before we begin, yeah. hey... Uh, let me let me present everybody with me today. Whoa. We got my boy Jay Goat here. How we doing, Jay Goat? Go. Yeah, well, finally, they took long enough. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> then we got Mr. Rampage, my boy, my goal. And then we got Mr. Crinkles yes, over sir. here in the far right, man. Look, boys, World Series of Warzone has finally, bro, finally been announced. It's been a long fucking time coming. Yeah. Um, how do we feel, Mr. Crinkles? Finally, they announced it all. I mean, it was about time, you know? It was kind of like one of those things where we needed to know where where it was going to be just because of, obviously, we have the teams not wanting to know or, like, schedule things ahead. So right. I, I'm happy that they were able to bring it to us here. Uh, I would like to have, like, a crazy announcement, you know? Yeah. Like, just like, oh, yeah. let me post yeah, a that's Twitter. the biggest thing. Let me post a, a, a tweet that is being announced. But, right. I mean, I'm glad we have it now. I'm actually, uh, uh, I agree with you on that. I thought, I mean, let me know, Jay God, what you think, Rampage. I thought it was going to be like, Oh my God! What's well, like something big? Yeah, something, like, like, like after it, champs. Like yeah, something. And then, and then I was like, damn. Then we saw obviously just a Twitter announcement. I know, I, I don't know why that was, you know, but I, you know, thoughts, thoughts, boys, thoughts. Well, it's even a re weird timing too, wasn't it? Like only a few hours ago, it wasn't like at the normal update time. Yeah, uh, true. Which is a little bit weird. And then also like there wasn't anything in there that made me go, oh. How come they couldn't release this a month ago? It's just like Vegas. There was nothing crazy about the the venue or anything. I don't know. Maybe yeah. Crazy. yeah. I don't know. Yeah. There's got to be, I'm telling you, chat, there's got to be a behind the scenes reasons of why it barely got announced. Um, yeah. Because I would, from a marketing perspective, you probably announce like after World Series of Warzone LCQ. Or after mm, World Series yeah. Warzone Finals, when viewership is crazy. True. Or even COD Champs Last I mean, Resort. I honestly thought it was going to be COD Champs Last Resort. Cause yeah, because you have like 150K viewers, whatever. Yeah. Like, that would probably be the that best bet. And then, like, the, I was like, okay, if they're not doing it here, probably COD next. But, like, it's like go down the line, you know? So late. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there's, but, there's a lot of stuff to talk about. Keep that in mind, chat. And everybody remind me, caught next. I have something I have something Ooh, to discuss about, about, about this. Um, but Rampage, talk to me, bro. How are we feeling? It's in fucking Vegas. Uh, What's going through your head, bro? I mean, for me, I feel like most of the people like didn't expect, especially for me, I thought it was going to be in London, bro. I, I, did, I thought like they didn't give us any clues or anything. And I was like, God damn, what the hell? But to hear that it's going to be in NA, uh, a lot of people said like, it's, it'll be so hard to get into NA. So from hearing that, and then especially in Vegas, bro, a city that don't sleep, man, you could be four in the morning, like doing anything. It's going to be crazy. Obviously, you guys already talked about, right, about the Pesa Pluma, UFC yeah, fire, yeah, yeah. all the things that's going to be going well, down. Yeah. It's going to be packed. It's going to be, it's going to be insane. Look, I think that, let's kind of, let, let's kind of go over everything World Series vibes, right? Yeah. And um, I mean, chat, let, let's, uh, JD, can we go ahead and watch the, um, the, the trailer real quick? Guys, Ooh, September 14th and 15th. World Series of Warzone got announced in Las Vegas, and it's a two-day event, which is fucking lit. Ooh. And let's go ahead and watch it really fast, and then we'll go over it. There's a format to go over. j God, I'm very curious to hear your opinion oh. on that. Um, so let's go over it, man. JD, if you I can go ahead watching, and bring it up. yeah. It's yeah. bad. <laughs> yeah. Let's see this. I love this scene, by the way. I mean, wow. Perfect. The... Damn. Hey, run it back, run it back, run it back, run it back, run it back. Can it, it be longer? Can it? I know, it's so short. Global final is back. Like, oh my god, like some some sort of like hype, you know? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, it could have been. Look, look, here, here, you can pause. You can go back to the other the, the other POV. Uh look, I, I get it, right? Like, even me, I'm like, damn. I, I thought it would be a little bit more special. I don't know if I'm just like, I'm That's just I'm finally saying. happy that it got announced. Yeah. That I'm at that point where I'm kind of like, eh. Like, I think I'm more hyped about the two days and that it's in Vegas. In, more specifically, it's in North America, right? I mean, let's talk about that really fast, right? Let's talk about the location real fast. Jay God, thoughts on it being in North America? Did we ever think it was going to get to that point? Because I genuinely, 
did not think that nope. it would ever be in North America. Yep. I thought we'd be stuck with everything we heard last year on how expensive North America is, getting visas, all that shit, which is another I topic. I think the visa himself. thing was the bigger thing. Okay. I, I think yeah. there was a lot of talk more around that. I think the cost they can offset by getting sponsors, mm. but or like whatever so and so is promoting this particular tournament or Activision with this or Microsoft. Probably going to talk about Game Pass there. I mean, there's money to be had, but the actual like getting people in from different parts of the world, they explained it's way more complicated to get people in the U S than it is to get people, uh, into London. Right. Like that's one of the big selling points. And that's why apex does theirs where they do it because it's just way easier, less logistical issues. So unless they, maybe they've got this team together to make sure those things get evened out. I guess we'll know once it's game day and the people who called are the ones that are actually there and not like 10 refills because they couldn't get visa situated. Right. I, I, that's another question in of itself, right? Let's let's just talk about in general, North America and, and, and all that, right? Like, yeah. look, I, the biggest thing that we saw from last year was I personally don't think the, 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 the quote unquote market, if you think about war zone as a whole, like the scene and everybody can agree to this, even frenzy, you might go, but the majority of the scene is from North America. Right. True. And True. that's rightfully for so Duty. for, 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 I, I don't know about Call of Duty in general, but I think just in Warzone. I mean, Call of Duty could be the same way, but the thing is, in Call of Duty, in CDLs, CDL London, that shit goes hard. Oh, that shit goes crazy. There's CDL yeah, London, right? But when it comes to Warzone, I think the scene isn't there yet as far as, like, London, because a lot of the tournaments are North American-based. If you even think about it last year, there was, like, guys, there was probably, like, no tournaments in, North, in, uh, in EMEA or EU. Um, now, this year... Definitely the EU scene has been picked up way more than last year. 100%. Um, but I think the biggest thing is when we went to the land, the biggest thing that like the boys would say is they were shocked that the crowd wasn't as crazy as they would have thought. And nah, they will. I think the big part of that was because a lot of them wanted to see Jukies win, FIFA win, like all the 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 EU guys over there win. Yeah. Um, and they didn't they did okay, but they didn't do so hot. So I think that's why now, with it being in North America, <sighs> and I dude, so many people in the chat were like Oh my God, I can't, like, you know, like, brother, I, I am actually sh insanely surprised yeah. and I'm incredibly excited to see how crazy this thing is. Okay, Bro. they said there's 9,500 seats. That's what I'm saying. That's a lot. Now, a it's 20% more, about 20% more than the copper box that they did last year. Okay, so here is where I'm concerned about because in the copper box, they didn't use the whole copper box arena. It was like True. half because they needed the rest of that space for the actual, like, uh, stadium, the actual, what's it called? Like the actual, the setups, right? Yeah. This year, if this, if the, this place holds 9,500 spots, how much Ooh. are they going to have to remove for, to make room for 120 players, right? Very that's, true. that's a good um, question. I don't know. Uh, just boys, general thoughts on the North America aspect of it all. Anybody, it doesn't matter. Any. Jay God. I mean, I like it. I think it's good to kind of mix it up. And because the other one was that where it was, I think Vegas was kind of expected. There's probably was only like three locations, right? It was uh, Texas, probably Dallas, and then Vegas, and then maybe LA. But LA was right. probably like last out of the three locations. I think most people thought it was going to be Dallas or Vegas if it was in an NA. And so it worked out that that's kind of where it was expected. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, Krinkos, thoughts on, on NA? I mean, I, I mean, it's just fucking. It's dope that we're gonna have the the land in in a and stuff. But I honestly don't like the way you're you're saying about how they're gonna do the setup with the venue. Yeah, I think it's gonna be like a U and then but have no floor seats, like how, how we had it there. I don't right. know. London. I mean, if you look at it, I uh, haven't seen the venue, so I, I don't really. Did they do they have it somewhere, Jigod? Yeah, it's inside the the post. If you go scroll down right there on this one from Twitter, and then that they link to the the page. On the page, page, it says the Orleans Arena. Oh, but do you have pictures of it? Like, well, you just Google uh, the Orleans Arena. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Dave, you want to just put it off to, to the side and we yeah, can look see at right it? Yeah, see right there, it uh, says the first row, a line there. Live Global is headed to the U.S., whatever. And then on the second line, it says Orleans Arena for two days of intense competition. Very intense. Uh, Very action packed. Okay, so we're going to We're going to bring up a pic of it real fast. Yes, sir. Um, I, in general, right? Like we're gonna go over the two day thing too right now. But, yeah. um, but there's never been there's never been an esport that has 120 players or whatever on the map. Like true. That, 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 so if they do, uh, oh, COD was here one time for like whatever. It's four v four on the stage. It's not the same. Like, yeah. So it's kind of hard. 
it, it, yeah. it would take them. It's it's completely different. It's completely, completely different. different. Um, I, I, in general, right? Like like Rampage. Your thoughts, North America. Do you think that every year it should change? That's what I was gonna like, say. Like, what I do mean, you think of that? I uh, mean, for for first off, I thought like it's gonna be keep being in London. I'm like, oh hell no, like, <laughs> but like it's not not a bad thing. It's just like after a while, like you obviously want to see it where like you're from as well, from NA. And then not only that, but being able to see like maybe one day it's gonna be in Canada or somebody someplace else that 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 makes me like so happy that there's some diverse uh, locations and everything. And on top of that, like you said, the copper box it had like what thirty five thirty five hundred. Like and people? they said 2,500? 2,500 people. And then now, like, I know the crowd is about to be even more insane. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be really, really good, man. <clears throat> my, my opinion on that is, like, we should keep changing the location until there's enough events that are lands. Um, yeah. Because, like, it'd be different if, okay, Champs is always going to be in Vegas. But then we have a, a Major 1 in London and Major 2s mm. in Dallas and Major 3s in... I don't know, wherever the hell they want to put it, Mexico right. City or some shit. I don't know. Ooh. But you know what I mean? Like one of those things where until it's, it has to move around so you get more fans involved, at least until they can commit to, okay, we're going to have four lands, like Apex. and, and then I, like that. Right. I like that a lot. Build it, you know? Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I think, yes. For for example, I think World Sea is a war zone in general. Like I would love it to have one location. Like we did our first ever land in Vegas. And that was sick. Bob like Wonderland. if if we had more investors willing like to be fair, if Warzone 2 didn't come out, we'd probably have another Baca land. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, Damn. We'd have another Baca Wonderland, bro. <laughs> them back. And you know, where we would have investors that want to do it again. And it would have probably stayed in Vegas every year going forward. But like obviously things change and you know it is what it is. But I think if like Jay got said, it'd be cool if there was the, every single one we know, hey, no matter what, World Series Warzone is always in Canada or in Miami oh, yeah. or in whatever. But then, the th let's say, two or three other lands throughout the year, that changes every year. I think that'd be cool. Mm -hmm. I would love to see a, like, no troll, Mexico City uh, no, like, yeah, go I mean, all over the world. That makes sense. Like, that'd be sick. Because, like um, you said, like, uh, the, for the teams that are competing, what, you got Latham, Sor Latham South, Latham North, you got APAC, you got uh, all those. Like, if you, you got, got literally you, anywhere. You got literally you anywhere. You go to all those for, like, the Warzone lands. I'll yeah. be fucking gas. No, I mean, look. The home turf? To kind of to kind of summarize, I do think this North America, I, I definitely think this is going to be, there's going to be a lot of people going. Oh. I could be wrong, but I, I feel like I could bet money that there's going to be a lot of people there. Holy <laughs> shit. Oh, damn. They're going to sit all 120 players in that middle? Holy shit. This is like a stadium. Um, looking like a colossal. Oh, this is like a big ass stadium. Japan would be <laughs> fucking amazing. Oh, my God. Yo, they honestly might just do a full circle of the players in the middle. What, you think that's the way they do it? I mean, I feel like that's the only play, no? Like, Guys, uh, obviously, unless... this is, like, not... Just want to reiterate, this is not, like... The layout. It's not the layout. They can change the layout however they want. Yeah. But so this, they can this, this is just... Chairs? They can move everything. Yeah. Like, oh. bro, that, that's what stadiums do. They can change shit around. Heard but this that. is just, you know... So it fits 9,500 people. Holy fuck! Yeah. Then 120 being the players, this fucking... The table, or unless like they get like just rows, just just one on the towards the wall side, just rows of like the players. I wonder how they would do it. It's like, gonna be so. What's tight. a cool they layout? It, they could do it like COD Next. I mean, like where it's just laid out in rows. That's fine. Uh, they can do it where half of it's facing one way and half the other, and then audience could see it. It depends. There, I mean, the left side could be them facing inward or outward, and vice versa, and then their backs to each other. I don't know. There, there's there's all kinds of layouts they can do with this floor plan. Like, there's just so much. And then there's plenty of seats all the way around. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I'm going to be honest, Chet. If this shit sells out, it is. I'll be I mind felt. blown. I'll be mind blown. Like, Whoa. Oh, because I'm thinking about... Oh, it's 100% going to sell out. You think so? 100%. 9,500 people is a lot. No, no. <laughs> but what ends up happening is the copper box seats 7,500. There was only 3,000 seats. That's like less than... That's like 40%. Oh, so 9,000 right. is probably going to be closer to like 4,000 seats. Five or four. And each day... So, but most people are going to go either just on the final day. So the first day is going to look empty because you're going to buy a two ticket, right? <laughs> oh, so, mm. And then the final is going to be probably like crazy, but it could be short, especially with the, the rule set. Which oh, yeah. oh, we're, we're, we're about to go over. We're about to go over, man. <laughs> oh, man. Um, okay. So look, man, regardless, bro, I'm so damn excited. This is about to be so fucking that we've been waiting for this for like <laughs> literally a, 
a long time to figure out where we're going. And finally, it's been revealed. It's in Las yeah. Vegas. I'm going to keep it a buck 50. There's n I had no idea this shit was going to be in Vegas. Nope. I never thought it was going to be here. I genuinely thought it was going to be in London. Like, and people Me were too. saying London. People were saying, um, uh, what's Germany? it called? No. Yeah, Germany. Uh, Germany or something. I heard what Germany. I heard Germany. I heard... I, um, I mean, we heard Vegas, but I was like, it was like one of those like, ah, it was just like whatever. Nah, anything in the NA, I was like, nah, hell nah. We like, heard so many different things, chat, and then to see it now be in Vegas in North America, I know so many people are gonna go. Like, so many people in chat were like, oh, I'm there yeah. no matter what. Like, I, who knows when the next time we're gonna get one of these in North America is? But that's why I, I hope everybody goes. I hope everybody shows goes. Up to this. The numbers. Um, go ahead, Jack. That weekend, the Raiders are uh, playing at home. Oh yeah, so there's a lot of things, and I don't, I don't know if this is a. <laughs> A good thing or a bad thing, but Saturday of the... Of, so the tournament is Saturday, Sunday, right? Saturday is UFC, the Sphere, um, the UFC, the Sphere card, which is supposed to be insane in Las Vegas. Then the same night, I, I'm assuming it's, it's in Vegas as well, is the Canelo fight as well, the same exact night. So I'm curious, is that going to affect viewership at all? What time does our tournament start? What time does it end? Right? Is it going to be late at night? Is it going to be early? I would assume it's going to be early, and it'll probably end before that, so it doesn't affect viewership. True. Um, but, I'm, yeah, there's a lot of stuff I want to go over about viewership in a little bit. But either way, I do think it's going to be fucking gas in Vegas. Um, mm -hmm. Now, boys, let's go over the rule set. So, JD, can you please bring up the, the, the web page that we had earlier? Yeah. That rule set, man. That rule set. <sighs> oh, I don't think man. it'll affect anything. Come on, let's see. see okay, so I'll go ahead and read it. The Live Global Finals is heading to the United States. The $1 million World Series of Warzone Global Final will land in Las Vegas at the Orleans Arena for two days two. of intense competition on <laughs> September 14th and 15th. After yeah. two months of qualifications and tournaments, we have the best 40 trios in the world ready to compete for the championship. Mm -hmm. So, guys, let's real quick take a pause. We've been asking for this all of last year. We've been saying it. We people flew all the way across the country, twelve-hour flights for one day, just to do one day a four-hour tournament. Yeah, not like six games it. only. Yeah, not worth it. But we now, like, now have two days. Two days, and then you mean? I mean, teams are gonna get a warm-up, you know? Exactly. Like, get a feel of like how a land's gonna feel, this and that, and then three days. come into the next day and just like actually feel the the setup. So I mean, Jago, talk to me, man. Two days. How are we feeling about that? I'm assuming everybody's gonna say W for this. So, but what are you thinking? I, I, I mean, I like it. I, I like the the way that they they added the extra day. They did it entirely different than maybe we kind of had hypothesized. Whether they do a rebirth tourney or they do like some meet and greet style stuff. I don't know if those are gonna be part of the scheduling. Uh, I think those are things to help grow because then if people get their ticket they want to be able to interact with a meet and greet or whatever the case is specific times when they're doing tech setups or or whatever i think those are just added value for people coming to see this live you know yeah yeah okay yeah i mean look right now we're about to go over exactly how it all works i think yeah. in general two days is a big step up from last year um I, I, we're gonna go over the format because there's a lot Everything, if there's anything that's a that's question mark right now of why oh, they did things, man. it's the format, which we'll talk about. Um, but overall, two day format, fucking amazing. Yeah. Room for improvement though. Room for improvement. It's a, yeah. Um, it's a great start. Uh, ticket place. information, guys, just so you guys know, this Friday, August 2nd at 10 a.m. PT PST, that's 12 Central, 1 p.m. uh Pacific, and then 6 p.m. BST chat. Uh that is the that's when the tickets go live. And tickets sold out last year quick. So Chat, I would try to get your tickets ASAP. That's yes. this Friday. This Friday, guys. Um, so now, let's scroll down to the global final. Listen, Dude. before we begin, I like day one a lot. And I'll explain why I like it. Um, day two is where my biggest concern is. So let's go over day one real quick. The action begins and solo YOLO caps off the day. On September 14th, the 40 qualified trios from around the world will drop in for six maps, which I wish it was eight. It's all right. It's true, all right. True. Six maps competing to earn World Series of Warzone points. The overall standings from day one will determine the World Series of Warzone point advantage each trio receives for day two, with the first place team receiving a 40 point head start Dang. on their Call of Duty Warzone match point journey. We'll wrap up day one with the $50,000 solo YOLO, where 120 players will drop in for a single winner to take home $50,000. All right. So, listen. That is sending the pace. My whole, my opinion. 
day one is a fat W. So yeah. let me, I want to get y'all's opinion. It's let me just basically quickly. near perfect in my opinion. Based I off think so. Like the, the, the two hour podcast we had a year ago about mm. it or whatever, literally everything is to the T and this is before we knew match point was even going to be a thing. Right. Right. Look, wow. chat, at, at some, look, I'll say this. The whole point is this. If you're going to have a two day event and you're not going to have people getting eliminated, how do you make it competitive? How do you make it mean something? Yeah. Right. And I think they did that, just that when you have first place getting 40 points. Something to play for. That means something. That means you have to start off hot. You can technically start off slow, but if you place 36 to 40, you're A. You got a long day ahead of you, right? You place even 10th, A. You're, you're at a 20-point disadvantage. That's about oh. a one-game difference. But, like, day one means a lot. And if you look at other esports of BRs, like, look at Apex, they do the exact same thing. It's the exact same thing in Apex. And in my opinion, I think they, they hit this on the nail. They Perfect. In my opinion, first 40 points, second through fifth, 30 points, sixth through 10th, 20 points, 11th through 20th, 15 points, 21st through 30th, 10 points, 31st to 35th, five points, and then 36th through 40th is zero points. So I chat, the biggest thing with this is they had to make it to where it, it day one matters. Day one, you can't just go and just nope. suck ass on day one. No, yeah. You got to like go in and pop the fuck off. And even if you start off slow, it's okay. You're going to have a little bit of a disadvantage, but it's nothing that's like, oh my God, yeah, that's like, it's over. No. Teams can have bad days and you can still catch up. It's never, it's never chalk. That's a beautiful thing. But this does make it to where, yo, if you pop off day one, you are rewarded for it in day mm. two. So, Jay God, I'm very curious to hear, before, before we even get into day two, day one, you think it's perfect? I mean, about as good as it could get. I, I think that... The, the perfect scenario is we'd have twice as, many, twice as many teams and teams would get eliminated. That'd be like the perfect scenario, but there's not enough players competing, so you can't really do that system. But I think this one, for the most part, is pretty good. Uh, I'm glad they lowered the prize pool down to 50000 uh, right. It'll still feel like special, but it's separate day. It's not like, oh, Scump won the World Series of Warzone. Right, right. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we don't get that. I, I think... Um, Maybe they could even do more fanfare with the solo YOLO, knowing that. And then what ends up happening in those qualification matches don't really matter in terms of like giving huge props because nothing's finalized, so it's separate from the solo YOLO. Um, so the solo YOLO will probably even have more value, I think, in that sense on that specific day. Um, the, the points going into the second day, though, is kind of uh, weird, but we'll yeah. see. Yeah, that's my biggest. But before, boys... Thoughts on day one? Yeah, Freaks. I think I think it's a good I think it's a good mix of like what they added just to add on an, an extra day for the actual World Series Warzone. I mean, I actually like the the fact that they added the solo YOLO the first day because it gives us something through to like be excited for you know towards the end of the day. Uh, we're not gonna well, obviously we'll go over the the points that they're gonna get, but I do I do enjoy the the first day that what they made. Right. Okay. I mean, yeah. rampage. Thoughts on I mean, on this? I mean, I'm just. Uh, I'm a meathead, bro. I want like three days. Like, obviously, like, uh, I mean, obviously, You're like, getting greedy. No, without a doubt, I mean, it's, it doesn't hurt to throw it out there, man. Manifestation. But, uh, definitely, like, obviously, like, you guys are probably not going to agree, but, like, I truly like the, the solo YOLOs. I think they're very, very intense and stuff. So, like, maybe, like, like I say, for example, if there's three days, like, there'll be like a whole day of like solo YOLOs and, and stuff like that. But going over to the points, I was just like, I was like, okay, whoever gets first, that's it. They already won. It's advantageous. But I, I, like you said, like, I didn't see like how you guys were seeing it where like they are playing for something, you know, even, uh, even say they don't have the best start. They start off with 30 points. You know, that's a solid cushion. I think that's very, very amazing for sure. Without a doubt. Um, okay. For the first day, beautiful match piece. Okay. I, I, again, I think, I don't think anybody would disagree that day one, I think they hit, they hit the nail perfect. It's, it's literally perfect. I like this yeah, format. The build up. Now, here is where things start to get a little bit iffy. So let's go to day two. Let's scroll down a little bit. Um, and I'll read this. And I think this is where me personally and a lot of other people are going to have a, a little bit of a, of a, like, this is where I think the only L is for now. It could be an L, could not be. Let's let, you know, only time will tell, but let me read it. Uh, following the mayhem of the solo YOLO, solo YOLO, trios will reunite to start day two at, and the Call of Duty Warzone match point finals. With the best performing teams from day one, Taking advantage of their head start, trios will battle it out to surpass the 150 point threshold to become match point eligible. All right, chat. So, listen, match point eligible squads, 
uh, must fight to secure the first place map finish, become the World Series Warzone Champion Squad, who will overcome the 39 other trios and claim the $300,000 first place prize. So, yo, this is where yeah. things get a little dif different, chat. This is where things get a little bit weird, is um, 150 match point yeah. with a 40-point advantage. 110 points, bro. 110 points. I, I I would like to see like the numbers. I'm pretty sure you, you with the with all the watch party stuff, you probably haven't tracked like what the average number of matches is. Mm. Um, but if we use this metric going into it, and like say over the weekend, they would have hit match point or they would have won like in three games if they had yeah. a 40 point lead because they end up winning three. SSD won three matches in a row before they end up losing or getting second or third or whatever, right. not winning the next two. But with the 40-point cushion, they would have won in map three or something crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the tourney would have been over in an hour and a half. <laughs> like, Yeah. I, I mean, look, bro. But that doesn't happen every time, but, like, that's kind of crazy. It, it, the potential, like, guys, like, we literally, okay, this is all hypothetical, right? Mm -hmm. If SSD, we know they're the best team right now, if they go out and if they win day one, right? And then day two, we're all going to be going into day two they're thinking, yo, this could end in three to four games. No cap. Yeah. <laughs> like, this could end in three to four games if they, I mean, guys, 150 match point, that's only 110 points, right? Sure, you can make the argument for the team that's at, at 30 points, that's 120. Like, and eh, maybe it's a little bit cushion, but like, uh, what this is what I think happened. This is what I think the 150 point and the reason for it. In my opinion, I think it should be 200. If, yeah. Like, if people are buying tickets to go see this, if people are flying across the country, and if we've let up all, whatever, the whole year to lead up into this one moment. I think it's better to be have too much games than to have too little. The, mm. it, it, you People should be getting their money's worth when they're buying the tickets, right? And even flying across the country to go visit their family, whatever, even watching. I, I, I definitely think you should rather have too many games than too little. And I think yeah. 200 match point would have been an ideal world where you know, hey, this is, like, is going to last a good amount of time. Like, let's lock in. And if somebody does go crazy, boy, well, hey, you finish in five games. Like, but now, a team goes rogue. Dude, you get like a 50-point juicer, that's 90 points. You, you could end, guys. You could, this could, I, here's what I think happened, right? To, sorry to, to wrap up what I was going to say. Is I think they probably think that LAN is going to be hyper-competitive. In the sense of teams <laughs> will try to chalk people. Teams will land on SSD. That... I think that they think that LAN is going to be a lot more cutthroat and teams will not pop the fuck off. Um, my opinion, I think it should be 200 no matter what. Regardless, uh, like, people well, should have to grind to get to that. Well, I wouldn't say regardless 200, but with that point bonus, it should be 200. Yeah, yeah, sorry, um, sorry. Or, or even like 175, like yeah. borderline, like even where it's a middle point. Because I don't think it'll play slower. I mean, if we're using even the, the EWC or whatever as an example, it didn't really play slower. I mean, it was still about the same. It's resurgence, whatever. But it was still LAN. It was still fairly competitive, even though no one had a qual to be there. Right, right. Uh, but it was still pretty, like, most of the top teams, not all of them, but a lot of them. And, yeah, so I don't know. I, I don't know. 200 would probably work in this format because of the extra 40 points. But right, feels like it could be short. Do you guys think uh, 40 points is too much? I don't. I think it's too much now. Like, okay, I don't think 40 points is too little if day two was at 200. Yeah. Because day two is at 150, then it becomes too much, right? Because then mean, if you think about it, if, if it's 150 and you have to reduce those numbers by five points, it doesn't really matter. Day one doesn't matter because what's five points the next day? That's nothing, right? right? Here, you're taking off 10 points. It's a good amount. Like, that's a pretty big, like, that's a lot. I would rather them up the threshold than to remove the 40 points or 30 points, whatever, 20, right? Because again, if you make it, you change that from 40 to, to you go increments of 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, like that's nothing. That doesn't matter. Like day one wouldn't matter anymore. And I think the 40 points is great, but when it becomes 150 match point, yeah, I think, I think, mm, I think that's kind of chalk. No, I do agree. I do agree with uh, hopefully being, well, I don't know. I don't know if it could be changed. Doubt that it's going to be changed, but yeah, there's no way it changes now. Yeah, there's, there's no, no way it changes no, now. Yeah, but, no way. But like Once for future, point. future reference, probably be like 200 match point, and then obviously have the 40 points that you get for the first day. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. 
we're actually curious to see how it plays. I mean, we can, you never know when it comes to the second day. If, if FCD knowing like that they play the way that they play, like perfect, this is ending three to four games. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a possibility, boys, that this ends in three games? Like, we go to, sun, we go to Sunday and it ends in three games. Is that three a possibility? Three games? Hell no. Nah. 100% it's possible. Even it is possible. Because but... go, go, if you go back up a little bit to see the points, it doesn't even rely on one team. There's like four teams that can do yeah. what we're talking about. Look, it goes to the fifth. 30 points is still a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Sixth through tenth is, is decent, but not like crazy. But second through fifth. That's five teams. Yeah, like, like what? What did Dongi have? He had twenty-one kills. Was that today? Right? Yeah, yeah, twenty-two, twenty-two. Yeah, 22. Dude. Plus, uh, how much did the team have total? That could be like a sixty-point game. Like, what the hell? Like, I don't know. You have to keep in mind that some players are not going to be playing the same when it comes to that. True. Some True. players are not going to be at their high oh, potential. What you trying to say there, Chris? I'm just saying, like, you know, yeah. some, people are, like, some people are gonna get nervous. Some people are gonna get nervous. He some people are, some people out. He's throwing yeah, shots. No, I'm right just now. saying, you know, some people are gonna get nervous. Some people aren't gonna play at to their potential. You know, yeah. the, but, the crowd but then again, it's good that you we're having a, a first day because you'll you'll release those nervous, you know, mm. that nerve. You you'll get rid of it, and then you, you go and you play on game. Sunday. But like, I, it's true though. Like, so if that's the case, then happy to everybody. Like, I get. I just think, like, bro, like, I get it. I completely understand. Go just said something that's really important. He said maybe they thought. That like, whenever for production reasons, if it doesn't go, like if it doesn't end fast, and if, if there's a team that's not dominating, is 200 threshold too much to where that will be here for 12, 15 games, and then productions like wise, like they don't have the venue for that long. I, I don't know how that works, right? But again, I I would say I'd rather be play too many games than too little, because the biggest takeaway from last year was it was over in like five hours, four yeah. hours, and. Like the whole entire war, like year of grinding for like customs, getting everything was done in four hours, five hours, whatever the, what it was. And then, yeah, you know, like I you think get those special occasion. Very, very rare that you'll get like 17 teams on match point. Yeah. Like very I, rare. I think here's, here's the thing. If this was 200 match point with the 40 point lead or whatever, even with 40, even 30, 40, 30 point lead. Yeah. At least you are guaranteed five to six games minimum, minimum. So you know, hey, no matter what, you're getting your money's worth or you're getting, like, even your attention span, you, you know that, hey, I'm locked in for the next five to six games. Now, we, we have to question whether, hey, if, if, if a team does pop off on Sunday, this could be over in three to four games and, it's, and it's, it's it. It's over. I do think, I do think, guys, when it comes to LAN, teams will start to chalk other teams if they hit match point. Yeah. Yeah. By my opinion. J God, do you see, especially we saw EWC, do you see more teams being more competitive to, on land? I don't think it being very much different. I mean, really? even when we saw it last year, it wasn't much of a difference between calls and whatever. I mean, obviously you have these outliers where maybe like somebody has a bad day, but a lot of it comes down to like landing spots in, in map where the EU people haven't really played the NA people the same way, like a full, hey, this is the way the lobbies are going to be and we have to fight for this landing spot because it's the land spot we called with. Even though these practice tournaments, there's been way more of them too. Right. So it's like there shouldn't be too many surprises when we get to land. We'll have kind of expectations. There might be one team that like comes out of nowhere and does some shit. But for the most part, I think we kind of have an expectation. If we guess the top ten now, we could probably guess it. You know okay. what I mean? Like yeah, there's yeah. been enough practice where like land matters, but it's not gonna matter that much, like for the teams that are at the top. They think that's still going to play the same. I mean, look, Go, yeah. Go just said something really, really important. fucking important. Yeah. What do you say? And I, Go said that the top, tw the bottom 20 teams don't make any money. Remember that. They make zero dollars. He thinks okay. it's saying that's cap? About what? Oh, Which about part? teams going to play differently? I, I, I mean, I think that comes down to experience on land. That's my biggest thing. Is like some people crumble on land and some people don't. Like, that's what I think. I, I know, but, but the example I was giving... Pretty much everyone in the top is still mostly the same players from last year that were at the top that competed at LAN. Hmm. And when we had the LAN, the LAN at EWC, like... Oh, you who, say you can't guess top 10. I don't know. I mean, I feel like you can guess at least the top five. <laughs> the top five <laughs> yeah, is pretty... Yeah, exactly. Definitely top five, yeah, yeah. but... Probably not top 10, yeah. Top 10 would probably but be you know just like, like maybe, that, maybe top 10 was generous, but you know what I mean. Like, oh, yeah. like these aren't like new... This isn't the first year of LAN. Like, we've had track records so long, and... With, there's been like how many tournaments this year compared to last year? Yeah, like Probably fucking ten times. 
Literally, literally like 10 to 20, not even trolling. 10 yeah. to 20 more tournaments. Like not even trolling. Times. 20, 20 times. A lot of practice. Um, eBay says not even top five. <laughs> well, to be fair, we did, we, 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 did get, we did get surprised from last year's worst years. Worst, you know? What? Like, like the teams that were top five. Uh, yeah. Um, Amir. Ahsoka, Biffle. Um, like obviously Tommy. those those <laughs> the top like, three the top like three was <laughs> obviously those teams were like yeah, okay we were like surprised by no, all not them. those but like like yeah multis won't change chat multis won't like change like Usamir coming in like what third, fourth place or something like that right five. Yeah. right yeah 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 I I, I, I don't know. just in general right I I, hmm. I I think that's what Goach said is actually really important I do see teams at least one team in the top twenty if there's a team on match point just being like you know what boys if we don't stop this we don't make any money. Like, let's just fly at them. And they just all fly at the match point team. I definitely think it's going to get a little bit mixy. Um, I think it will be a little bit slower. I do think it's going to be a little bit slower than what we normally see. But, like, that's where like why take the team. chance? Why take the chance that it's going to play slower? Right? Like, if it ends, like, in four games, think about all the negative PR from that. I, yeah. I would much rather it be too long than too short. Right, because yeah. sure, it, 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 it takes six, seven games. All right, cool. W, like W tournament, seven games, six, seven games. All right. Yeah, I but honestly, if think a team, if one of the top five teams from day one pop the fuck off, and the tournament ends in literally four, three games, like, yeah, for me, like, I'm not gonna cap, even though like the points are are down, and I I do agree with it. I I feel personally like it will go to the distance. Like teams are gonna have to actually fight for it, and then just my example is going to be uh ewc like the the True. one in saudi like i thought it was going to be like a blowout i saw the teams and i'm like okay some of these teams haven't even played and and stuff you know or like some teams are just forming and, and i guess it's just rebirth it just comes down to like if you could shoot your gun and stuff but i mean me personally i feel like it's going to be like very down to the we might see like uh last chance qualifiers bro where there's like a bunch of people True. just in the zone so that's going to chalk a lot of teams it's going to Maybe you'll have one or two pop-off games, but at the end of the day, you also have to get that win. And if all the teams are also going to be trying to go for that win, or like you said, a team's going to be out there trying to stop you, like you, you don't know. So, I mean, that's that's where, like, at least where I think is going to go to the distance. Yeah, I know. I mean, you're not wrong. I don't disagree with you at all. Like, I think yeah. we've seen chat the 100K tournaments. Some of those play really fucking, like, like the end games are nuts on those. Ooh, uh, yeah, they are. On the big ones. So, I mean, this is going to be land, right? Yeah, I, and I... I wonder if maybe day one, sure, but day two, maybe not. And I say that just because, like, I mean, nobody knows until we get there, right? But yeah, I think the reason why I say that is because people are going to play slow day one because they're scared and they're nervous. True. Day two, they might, the nerves might be out and they might be able to flat things a little bit more. Um, do I think it's mm -hmm. going to play slower than scrims and slower than big tournaments even now? Yes, I definitely think it will. How much slower? I don't know to the point where... Is this 150 number justifiable? Me, no. I would yeah. okay, I would rather it be too many games than too little. True. And I think 200. But hey. I agree with you, that. You never I know. That. I yeah, might be eating true. my words come September 15th and we're on game 12 and no, and there's 10 teams Dude, on match point. I'll be so good. I'll be so you know, good. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but again, regardless, man, I, I think the format is a W. I, I think the only thing that people can question is is the match point threshold on oh, Sunday. But real quick, yeah, go ahead, do you ahead. think um, we have this conversation if SSD was a team? I'm going to be honest. That's a good point. That's a good that's point. That's a phenomenal, like, I'm hella glazing, bro. Every time all, this, all these tournaments, I'd be, like, putting my thumb. I'm like, damn, this this would be very competitive if they weren't, like, as a team. <laughs> no? So, like, 100%. I definitely. Oh, no. that, that, that's a good point. That's a good point. You know I, I think if it's not them, if, if they're not in this tournament, it'd be very we'd be like, be oh, okay, this is cool. Yeah. But we're in our brains, we're acting like, yo, we're, we're this so, is D. We've seen the domination that they bring to the comp scene. Right. But like, we're so used to them. Okay. Like, they could possibly do this type of work at the, the biggest event ever because we know how they are. Right. You know? Right. Right. And we saw it in EWC where they iced up when they needed to. So, like, true. I feel like we wouldn't but, have. But even we, in that scenario with the EWC, they won by 100. Yeah, but like they they worked well, they worked on day for it two, though. but then they they, they yeah, yeah. barely won yeah. day three like or whatever they, last day. They eight. needed to like adjust their gameplay to actually because if no. they play if they play the same way, they would lost. No, literally, like like I said it too. I, I I said if they never contested Fnatic, bro, Fnatic was gonna win. They had to step in in order for them to like 
shut down. They shut down Elman. They shot entirely of Fnatic, and they were able to just bounce back. And even so, it still went to the final game. Right, right. It came down to whoever died and was able to like, like pretty much like clutch up. I mean, dude, you, that's what I'm saying. Like, it, you never know. Like, I thought it was gonna be a slammage on uh, EWC, bro. Yeah, clearly. But we saw every from map one. We saw everybody like. We're like, yo, how do you end up up there? And then, like, Codcaster is about to go overtime, dude. Oh. It's about to be a movie. Yeah, Because, like, we saw uh, Palooza whenever, like, they're doing the A versus B, B versus C. And, like, the best of the best go make it to finals. And that thing is very stacked. We've been seeing lately a lot of teams, five teams, ten teams, right. even 1.17. I know it's super rare. But, like, right now, honestly, like, it also depends on SSD, like, or Falcons. Because, like, obviously, like, <clears> right now we've been seeing them crack a little bit. We've been... But... Even though on their worst days, they're still winning or getting top second. So if they're like fucking playing lights out, I do see that the game four. But right now, I feel like people got to lock it in. All the screams that's going on. They got to lock it in, man. This is about to be crazy, bro. It, I mean, like, yeah. I mean, look, that's it. I want to talk about that. We'll talk about a couple of different things. Let's finish this doc and then we'll, we'll, we'll yeah. yap. Uh, scroll up, uh, JD. I want to see. Or sorry, down. Sorry. Uh, just so people can see the prize pools uh, of this, guys. So. First place team will take home 300K uh, which, uh, yeah, as a team. Second place, 160K. Third, 100. Fourth place, 65K. Fifth place, 50K. Sixth place, 40K. Seventh, 35K. Eighth, 30K. Ninth, 27.5K. Tenth, 25K. Eleventh, 22.5. Twelfth, 20K. Thirteenth, 17.5K. Fourteenth, 15K. Fifteenth, 12.5K. Sixteenth, 10K. Seventeenth, 8K. Eighteenth, 6K. 19th 4k and 20th 2k so wow there is a lot of money to be put out there but 100k each. it's only top 20 top it's 20. only top 20 get paid so zero I, I i mean we can go back to the other one jd um the other age or we're just my biggest concern sport. with the the price like having the top 20 teams like not trying anymore they're not good but that's i think that's the thing with with match, match point. point you're never exactly, exactly. left out you could always you're make never at least I think you're never. You're never it's never out. chalk. You can you can oh, tell. No. I will say uh, for like playing in the actual tournaments and like like knowing that it's match point. Okay, all it takes is us winning this game. Right, right, uh, right. And then the next one we win it again. You know? Yeah, yeah. You know, it might be impossible, but like we could do it. There's a possible oh, chance. That's the being, best thing. JD, I mean, you gotta go ahead. Well, I think there are enough people that are friends within the community where if you're in the bottom like 39th or whatever the hell, you might try to chalk someone else's game just because they're third. Yeah. <clears throat> like, for your boy that's third, you're going to chalk yeah. covers first or second. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we've seen it for, like, $1,000. We'll <laughs> probably see it for a million, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yep. I grabs my gears, man. You know, I mean, it's happened before. So, I, look, man, let, let, a couple things. So, here is where I, I have some questions. Well, what do you guys... Like, Bego, he says no one, no one tries to chalk Falcons game. People definitely try to chalk oh, their try. games. It's just they learned that it doesn't work out. Like, that's what it, what happened. They kind of set that expectation that if yeah. somebody tries to go after them, they usually are positive on the altercation. And yeah, people either. are like, fuck, that was a waste of time. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I mean, they do, but... That's that's you, you either chalk their game or you're getting farmed. Is it farmed? <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, Most of the time, it's, it's farmed. Yeah, yeah, man. You contribute to the them winning They're, even sooner. So look, look, I, I want to talk about viewership real quick, boys. Um, as far as viewership for this tournament, I have a little bit of concerns. And um, I, I'll get, let you know my thoughts, but just in general, what do you guys think viewership is going to be for this tournament? Do you think it's going to be good? Do you think it's going to be more than last year? I guess more than last year, same as last year, or less than last year? Damn, are we talking about like online or viewership. just in person? I think just in it's general? Gonna... Viewership online. It might be more. Be more. I think it's more. Any more? Just because of Did like... Did they do YouTube last year? No. No. It says it's on their YouTube. Oh, really? YouTube what? What do you mean? YouTube what? They're streaming on YouTube and Twitch. Oh, oh. they probably did both last year, yeah? You were saying both? I mean, we were only on Twitch last year, so... Yeah, yeah. I mean... I only think it's going to be more just because we have a dominated team and like, obviously, kind of like the haters will always power the... Mm, that's Negativity a good one. will that's always a, that's overpower them. Yeah. Good. What do you think, uh, Rampage? I think it's going to be way higher. Really? Okay. I'll give my points, but go ahead, Rampage. Yeah, okay. I, have, I have my theory. I have my theory. I mean, I mean, for me, just uh, I think since people are already going to be in Vegas, I mean, if not, it's a it's a major W, so they're going to for sure fill up the arena. That's my 
personal opinion. And then on top of that, like if you're, I mean, it's going to be NA and that's going to be like at a perfect time zone for everybody, man. Like NA, that's what we, we all wanted. London, it was like, what, seven in the morning, nine in the morning. Like a right, lot of people true, true. are like going to be like waking up. But now like you're okay. You know what time is going to be happening. I think it's going to be way higher for sure than okay. last year's without a doubt. Okay, I'm, okay, so all three of y'all said higher, and I'm not. I'm not gonna say that I think it's gonna be lower, but I have some concerns of why okay. I think viewership could be lower, and I, I'll, I'll give my thoughts. One, two big things. Um, let's talk about next, right? Um, and I think next is a big reason. Not not say next itself, but I'm more of the beta, right? So last year, a big thing that people were saying, oh, you guys only had viewership because of uh, beta codes. Right. Mm -hmm. Technically, that's not going to be a thing anymore. That's not because the beta would have already came out by the time the tournament mm -hmm. comes out. Oh, so shit. there will not be people there just strictly for the beta codes. But to con to, to kind of counter that argument, though, CDL had beta codes this weekend and their viewership was lower than last year's. Big part of that was because of YouTube. YouTube I'll yeah. throw that out there. But just like that's like that could be that could be you. Could, OK, then you could dismiss that that being a reason of why viewership was so high last year. Yeah. Now, uh, I think the biggest thing, or one of the biggest thing is, okay, that is a big one. Beta codes, we're not going to be given for this one. Now, are people going to want to go from playing the beta? Because technically, everybody's going to be playing the beta after next, right? Everybody at home can play it. 100%. And knowing how good that movement is, and then going, are they going to want to watch World Series of Warzone after Back to a slower mm. move, like play style. How do you know how good mode. the movement is? Dude. Did you get a, a secret play session we don't know about, Hector? <laughs> I, I wasn't. Just for the trailer. For the trailer, we from seen. The trailer. From, from the trailer. Yeah, from the From the trailer, I saw it was like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, shoot while. You know? Yeah. You know? So, look, th those are my only two concerns when it comes to viewership. That makes sense. I hope numbers are, are, are great. Honestly, bro, I, like, in my gut, I feel like it's going to be more. Um, but. You never know. I think a big part of it depends on how many teams are on match point, how competitive it actually is. Um, but I, I pray that it's significantly more than last year. I think last year was like at 370, 378, something like that. Damn. Um, three, Everybody combined that as a whole? Yeah, yeah 370K. Um, <clears throat> and this year, technically, the numbers are better than last year. Uh, so I, I don't know. Uh, thoughts on my negatives as far as... so. What so could cause I'll, it? I'll go ahead and say why why I think it's going to be higher for multiple different reasons. Okay. Countering your like beta code, they're still going to do drops on the main broadcast. They'll do something, mm. calling card skin. It doesn't matter what it is. Double XP. They'll still do those. The the other like ninety percent of the viewer or whatever people streaming didn't get any codes. It was specifically for the. It's like not if you watch party, they had to have a double tab it right. Right. So right. I think main broadcast. It's still a thing. Um, the other part that was Modern Warfare 2, bro. Like, what are we talking about? The yeah. year over year, the the game, even on Steam charts and, and with the Xbox Game Pass, the game is bigger now than it was last year. It's more popular now than it was last year. Even yeah. even the watch parties, what is it like triple or like quadruple? I don't even. I can't even tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would it's be like, like a, a thousand lot. on a stream, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so like relative, it's gonna be huge. Um. I think even EWC had insane numbers. Yeah. Like just on their random stream that they, had, they, they were for the event. WC they they were live White. on like Neutral 20 different platforms. Like Neutral. Really? They had so, like, yeah. I think everything's leaning towards it's going to be huge. Like w bigger, maybe not significantly, but it's going to be like noticeably like larger audience just because of how terrible that last year was. Like yeah, the people that were there didn't even want to be there. Like, like Man. it was that bad of a game, you know? So I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's uh, everybody just brought up a good point. Oh, look here, here, here's what it was, chat. Here's what it was. Last year, World Series Awards on 2023 Global Finals, the peak number was at 382 thousand. Right, like that. Just to give you guys a little bit of, of reference of how crazy that is. Like, I think last year CDL their finals on Twitch as well was like 292, yeah. 290 something. This year was 288, 288 for them. Something like that. Like, this is a big number. This is a big fucking number, right? So I assume chat. I, I mean, I don't know. I, I would I would I would think that this year, with so many more storylines, actual good format, everything's so much better. It's not just six games. Like this year should, in theory, get more numbers. Hello, Juice. This, the numbers should be great. I mean, I heard that last year they were ecstatic about these numbers. 
because it was yeah. the first land. They didn't know how it was going to turn out. And these numbers were insane, right? So, mm. I mean... Yeah, I mean, obviously, it will be even better if, like, if it was on Twitch. They were on YouTube. Look at how low that number was. <laughs> oh, on English? Yeah. 17K peak viewers for YouTube. <laughs> hey, I mean, Damn. hey, you know, now, I mean, now they can multi-stream anywhere, so they're probably going to stream TikTok, Damn. everything, bro. Hey, they're going to stream yeah, everything, Facebook. bro. Yeah. Everything. So, I mean, guys, just to kind of look at this, I, I, I mean, I hope that we go higher than last year. I really do. I really do hope. Um... And then, even then, I can just imagine what Verdansk World Tears Awards on 2025 would bring. Like, with that new card? Omnidirectional huh. movement. 20, like, don't Verdansk, think more specifically. That would be insane. That yeah. would be insane, bro. Like, um, like you said, like, you, you don't, like, think, especially because, like, the time zones. Time zones is, like, a big factor, no? Yeah. I mean, then, what time was it, guys? I mean, for us, it was, it was like, like, 2 p.m. over there. So I that was that's a huge deal, too. Like, 7 a.m. 7 a.m., bro. You know, like, unless, like, you really love it, you'll wake up. But other than that, like, you'll be like, ah, oh, I'll just watch it later or something. Like, oh, I don't know. Or wow. I'll just see it Twitter, like, who, who wins. Yeah. But yeah. Like, that's the real question. Like, how many, like, people that actually watch from North America actually got up at that? And watched. I mean, even yeah. then, bro, like, people, I think that the, the, the amount of people going is going to be drastic. Like, yeah. the, the amount of people, I mean, I get it. My chat is mostly, I mean, not mostly, but a good majority is North America. The people in my chat that said they're going is actually fucking insane. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of people in chat that are saying that they're all going. Yeah. Um, and because it is in Vegas, again, I don't know when the next time this will be in North America is. And so, mm -hmm. I, I, that should be said. I want to do a pulse check after party chat. We're going we're to figure that out. Um, no, but I, I personally think it's going to be way better or, or, or bigger because obviously, like you said, like the first... Every World Series of Warzone was in London, you know? Then now, like, this is the first ever in NA. Yeah. So people are going to be like, yo, how does it feel to be in a, an event like this, you know? And, like, bro, the energy, the vibes are going to be very immaculate, bro. I think it's going to be a very positive uh, all around for, for World Series of Warzone. Like, uh, the, the, the only thing where it could be, like, whack is if they do close out on three maps. Like, yeah, true. Yeah, because, true. Because generally the way the viewership works is it just goes up as the stream goes on because there's yeah. like that carrot at the end of the stick like oh it could end right now oh it keeps going but like yeah. if they ended it, it's like they didn't even get to get build up like oh shit the yeah. turning was today i missed it you know like it's Turn already over, over. What right, the fuck? Right, right, but i feel like yeah. that, that first it also helps with build up that that yeah for sure. that first See, that's why i think it would have been worth it for them to do 200 sure. like no matter what you guarantee yeah. like you're not just guaranteeing like Right, that 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 people get their money's worth for going, but you also almost guarantee yourself viewership. Like yeah, again, true. you chat for you for those of y'all don't know how the way this works. Like you need viewership numbers, you need high numbers for for you to pitch this to sponsors to like for Activision to want to keep doing it. Like, and how do you do that? You you need to bring in the numbers. You need to prove that people care about this. Right? Again, last year they proved it. They had more viewers by a long shot than like any other Call of Duty event, right? Mm -hmm. And so this year, how do they continue to prove it? I think 200 point threshold, at least almost guaranteeing them an increase in viewership, at least six games. Like, you know, you're going to get a good amount of uh, uh, viewers yeah. there, yeah. right? I mean, match I point, I think, will be, you know, I guess another thing good. is it just comes down to like advertisement. Like, mm -hmm. you know, like, well, you know, <clears throat> go to like Vegas and you just see Call of Duty everywhere. I know <sighs> they're going to be doing that. Yeah. Or like, I mean, they well, might. I think the other thing, too, is that's probably what even allowed it to be a two day. You know what I mean? Like, they could go to the, the people and say, hey, you know what? Big fucking deal. We had 350,000 people watching. It was only a one day, six match. We need yeah. a bigger budget for a second day. We'll get you more viewers. Like, maybe that's how they pitch it, and that's maybe with a second day. And if that does well, then maybe they do a three day. Because, you know, even champs is four days, majors are four days. Right. Like, so. Like, and I'm assuming that's it's cheap. Concept. I'm assuming it's cheaper to do like to bundle two, three, like three days, four days together than to do like, like you would hope so, day. but yeah, you probably get a deal for how many days you do, right? So the the, the, the return on investment is probably worth it if you're mm. adding an extra two days. Yeah. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm you learning know? as I go, baby. <laughs> <laughs> My man has no idea what ROI no, is, bro. No, but still, like <laughs> I, I'm learning. Like, right, like I appreciate y'all having me because I'm learning as like you know how, how everything is. <laughs> Hell yeah. He looks so small in this that position. He does in the camera. <laughs> I'm actually six foot. I'm actually six foot. Like the huh. dummies on the thing with the fake legs. Yeah, <laughs> he does. He looks like a like a like a puppet, bro. Damn, yeah, man. 
<laughs> um hey yeah okay anyways man so yeah look bro i think those are my biggest concerns but overall i'm so fucking happy i, I yeah. here is here is the kind of the last subject i want to talk about mm -hmm. um the state of competitive war zone and i i'm curious and maybe this is a conversation to have maybe next week scrims did not fill up for the last two weeks um Ooh. it's weird because i had like 10 people telling me, run scrims, run scrims, the week of champs. And I'm like, guys, you're going to burn yourselves out, give yourself a week, and we'll run scrims next week. Next week, we run scrims, it doesn't fill. I get it, it was only like 20 teams, 30 teams that signed up. 20, it was like 25 teams, yeah. right? I, maybe, I guess, 10 of those people were probably hitting me up to run scrims. After that, no, it wasn't Where'd filling. They go? We tried it again, didn't fill. Tried it again, didn't fill. Are people and Jay God talk to me what you think? Do you think people were just genuinely just waiting for the announcement for them to start practicing again? Because like I'm just I, I was talking about it with Shifty and I was mind blown. Why did it go from us hosting literally people were begging me to do two scrims a day and to like to now we couldn't even get one to fill? Is that what they, they were just waiting for? I think so. I think there's a logical <clears throat> part of it where you don't want to burn out and not mm -hmm. knowing where the like the finish line is could be kind of like draining because it's like you're just spinning your wheels for nothing at least now they know okay there's a this deadline we got to get be ready by this date um then we could put in the work at this part like whether or not we need to worry about other things that are just random in your life that you can't just plan around without right. those dates that could be just taxing on people's mental whatever and and uh, a, lot, a lot of creators even though we focus like knowing uh, the majority of the top ones but there's a lot of people that don't make a full-time living as creators right. that are even competing so i think there's a lot of stresses outside of tournaments that gets kind of annoying to compete in if you're you don't know when you need to do it now they know it may be different at least that's my thoughts on it from outside okay yeah i mean look i i don't know i think the biggest thing is we know for a fact that everybody at activision is watching and it I, I, if, if these don't feel people are talking about oh we need a league we need a league we need a league right yeah and then scrims don't feel that's showing activation. These guys don't give a fuck. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So like, uh, again, yeah, I, I thought a month break would be sufficient. I think we were, I mean, it was maybe like three weeks break uh, would be sufficient. But I, I, I would hope now that everything starts to feel um, leading into to now that everything's been announced. We'll see Friday. We're hosting a scrim Friday and Sunday. I would hope they both fill. Um, and the passion's there. I think the biggest thing is balancing this is the top guys, right? I'm talking Shifty, Soka, Diaz. Um, Thank you, all these guys, all the, the top guys, right, chat? They care, they want to win money. They they want a reason to try. I don't think that should be a thing, in my opinion. Like, they they want to have money involved. Scumming, all these guys. Yeah. Want to put money for them to want to practice and go hard. The bottom guys, the teams that are not as good, they might not have the money to put in $5, even $3 every single day to scrim, right? Yeah. $3 every day it, it, it adds up. Right, so the bottom teams are like, "Yo, I don't want to put any money. I don't want to donate to the top guys." The top guys are like, "I don't want to put. I don't want to play for free because it's boring. Nobody's gonna actually try." And there becomes a big disconnect between the top guys not wanting to play for a lot of money, Ooh. the bottom guys not wanting to play for zero dollars. So then they don't get good practice in. They never get better because there's no scrims. Or if there are scrims, they don't play against the top guys because they have to play for money. So these bottom guys never get better. And then there's open calls and then they don't call. Mm. I think there's a big disconnect right now between how everything can work. So there has to be a way. How do you either one, get the bottom guys to want to play or want to put up money to play against the top guys? Or I think the easier route is how do you get the top guys to want to play for free? Yeah. And Everybody well, try, you know? I think part of that has to do with, uh, like, the, the game was in a bad spot. It, it's hard. It was, it was it, I think, in general, it's hard for people to pop off with content creation in general. And if you have that as a backfall, then you, then you don't need to play for money because you have money coming in from other sources. If you have 12 viewers, you're, you're probably not going to make a living on Twitch. Like, it's yeah. not going to happen. If you're not uploading, you're not going to be able to do that. So uh, I think where a league would come in is obviously that could help because people would have salaries or whatever those types of things. But also with the game being dead, it, it's very hard for people to just go, oh, yeah, all the viewers are popping. I have 30,000 subs on Twitch or something ridiculous. You know what I mean? Like, that's right. not, not where we're at with the game right now. You go to the streams where people were averaging 6K, and now they're at 2K. And those are, like, 
well-known people like the people on the i think it's just disconnect that it's going to keep growing and it's just kind of the growing pains that we kind of talked about maybe i don't know four or five months ago when we were talking about like apex and what they've done is just where the the hair behind where they're at you know so we're, we're a couple we're a couple miles behind them but we're getting there we're getting there <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, dude yeah been in between. <laughs> I mean, look, I, I think the ultimate yeah. end goal is a league. And, you know, I'll, I'll say this again. Um, they, I think they need a proof of concept. And we talked about this with FIFA when he was here. Uh, I feel like Activision needs to see that it could work. And so somebody yeah. out there has to make something, put together something to show a proof of concept that a league could work. I don't know, somebody somewhere. Yeah. Um, Yo, so, what do you, you guys just take on mind? Like, I, I could be faded off, but like, I, I like... <laughs> Cause obviously, he like, starts it with that. Yeah, he always starts no, it with just, that. Just because, like, uh, just because I feel like there's a, a lot of tournaments, which is a phenomenal thing. But like you said, like, uh, people could get burned out, and on top of that, they are also like slash. They have to get their content in order to get some money or like get recognition to be right, in right. a p possible sustainable spot, you know. So, um, so that's like everything just comes down to money, pretty much. It like, is. I'm not gonna lie. It's all money. Cause here's this. I think the second that scrims slash a league gets more viewership than ranked, everybody's on it. Oh, without because a doubt. right now, like I'm telling you right now, people do not play scrims, Chad. I'm talking about the big guys. They don't play scrims because more viewers want to watch ranked. Ranked doesn't mean shit. Ranked is full of cheaters, yeah. and it's not actually ranked. It's ass. But for, for whatever reason, it gets more numbers than actual scrims, actual competitive, right? Not tournaments, not tournaments, tournament, but like scrims. Mm-hmm. There's a reason why a lot of people play ranked over scrims. And that's at the end of the day, they make more money yeah, playing playing ranked. More viewership. It, 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 more viewership yeah, means more it's money. It's always been that way with, with, with Twitch. There's always these buckets that people go in, even for multiplayer. Mm. There, there's people that will do uh, wagers or whatever. They right, do right. 2v2s or 3v3s. Even the pros, that's all of their content. They're not playing pubs. Right. You know what I mean? There's literal like buckets right. of what does well on Twitch. Right. And it's... And they're just going to do whatever makes the most sense because uh, a lot of times on the back end, there's so many things tied to your viewer account, your follower account, your your, your view count, all these right. view like in, like that generates money, and people get deals, several month deals or sponsorships, that is more than they're even winning in these tournaments. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, it, it, makes it, it makes sense. I feel I feel like from that point, like I feel like a lot of people. I mean, I guess all right, you're kind of risking doing like content creation, but I feel like a lot that's a lot of people are having a fear of like risking mm -hmm. of like getting practicing for free because they're not seeing really the bigger picture. Right, like, right. You know, I mean, the thing is, it's like it's like it's like this. It's like you're saying, like, why would they want to practice for free when there's no benefit in short term? Long term, Long -term you show that pe this, there's passion here that people want to do this, right? Like Apex and them, like, bro, they have it made. Bro, like, like their best player, Imperial How, or I guess most popular. Like that man, he plays scrims. That man is is pulling numbers, right? Yeah. That man is pulling fucking numbers, and they have a league. They have everything. Like people want to watch that, right? So we have a proof of concept in another game. Now, how do we introduce that to Warzone? I think it's just gonna take some type of yeah. league to come out. Some type of even if it's not Activision League, some type of league to show, hey, this is actual ranked. Obviously, re reduce as much hackers as possible and give people an actual rank for wanting to compete. And I think. When that happens, viewership numbers will probably go up for that. And I think people will be more passionate. If you can get people to want to play something that brings in a lot of viewers I, and more than ranked, more than all this stuff, people will play. No, that, 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 that's just a bottom line as, as a content creator. Like, and I think it just takes time. You can't rush it. I mean, yeah. the same thing even happened with sports, whether you're talking about basketball, football, hockey, whatever. Like, they weren't making, they make dirt in the beginning. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. 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 They, yeah. They're going home to be a plumber after, you know, like after yeah. the gig. So, <laughs> like, I mean, those are common jokes that they've had for those like types of things. But um, the, e esports is very much the same way, where people have to have full time jobs until there's enough money that it sustains itself, or the communities can help like drive that revenue or sponsors right. and and the other stuff. So yeah, I mean, I, I think progress. There's so many different like things. Is, it's, it's, it's literally, it's literally a fucking yeah. a cycle. Of you do why. this, but then you got to do this, and then yeah. this. Like God, something damn. has to give, and something has to happen. Um, and I hope that even then, like, bro, look at, like, even then, I talked to Diaz. He was like, bro, I, maybe that had a lot to do with rank being asked at the time. But he was like, he was telling me he pulls in more numbers 
playing our scrims, this was back in World Series Warzone uh, times, than playing ranked. And I think that's why maybe a lot of people were like, like really wanting to play. That maybe could have been because it was winning, maybe because ranked was ass at the time. I mean, it's still kind of mm. ass. Um, yeah, or I'm whatever the case, maybe it was everybody was getting ready for the actual calls and people mm. wanted to see that. So the numbers were there to justify it. So um, hopefully, again, chat, maybe somebody, maybe somebody makes something very soon. Um, some type Brando. of some type of ranked. I don't know. Maybe somebody. You know. Come on. Um, chat. Somebody. Damn, somebody. Give me that Grimes. What are you talking about? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> either way, that hacker situation ain't gonna fix itself. You know. It is what it is, man. Uh, but boys, yeah. either way, to kind of wrap it up, um, I'm very fucking excited for yeah. the future. Wait. Side note. Christina brought something up to my attention that I really want to bring up two seconds boys last topic how hard do you think it's gonna be for people from europe to get over Bro. here how hard is it i'm very i'm very ignorant on this subject i don't know enough how hard is it for people to get from all these eu teams all these emea teams get passports or, or whatever to get over here how, yeah. how, how i mean it has to be hard no like i mean even the short spam that they give you was like a month and a half like get that situated or how many how many how many weeks is that it's six weeks. Six weeks. Six yeah. weeks to World Series Warzone. Like, That's yeah, such we just, a small time frame. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Like, it's, it's so hard to, like, if you don't already have your visa, you might be. Easy if you're from one of the countries on the list. Echo, yeah, what I list? Think it, yeah, I think there, there are certain countries that have the issue. There's only a handful that have the issue. Really? But, but I think there's also other things. Because, like, FIFA comes here like nothing, no? In <laughs> Esther? But he's in an org. Yeah, maybe that's because of that. Countries yeah, on monster. eligible list is Big Chillin'. Who's that? Who's <clears throat> what? What countries is that? Do we have a list of that anywhere? Uh, from uh, France, it's easy. You just have to fill the Esta online. See. Yeah, we're learning chat. Esta France. Yeah, we're being educated right now. Somebody said for Italy, you just need a passport. Wait, Esta, you just get in in twenty minutes. Oh, so it's not that hard. It's super easy. So, what are the countries? Or uh, so, what region would be the issue? Yeah, what regions? That, that that's JD. Can you Google what countries are on Esta? I guess that's what you Google. I'm actually curious. Oh, I'm damn. from Italy, and you have to get passport plus visa slash Esta. And there's two things, or it's either either or. I mean, I would imagine like Latin so plus so Latin yeah. probably be the hardest, and Latin South Brazil. Damn, you're one of them. Brazil, Chad, Mexico, so Mexico is 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 hard. Or you're saying Mexico is easy? I'm pretty sure it's hard. Mexico is hard. Brazil is easy. Latin teams. Okay. Latin, Latin American teams are cooked. Damn. Cannot travel to the U.S. to work without a work permit. I think that's oh. what everybody's saying. Oh. Let me see this. Oh, my God. Okay. Travel purpose must be permitted on a visitor. Be Okay, Australia. So uh, this is all like they're W, right? These guys are good. Yeah. So Australia is good. France, right there. France UK? is good. UK has double asterisk, though. I don't know what the hell that means. Yeah, where's that at? UK. What is double? Yeah, double. To be eligible to travel under the British citizens, but have unrestricted right of permit abode in England, Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland, the Channel Islands, and the Isle of Man. Oh, yes. I guess it's easier than... So you're chilling. More access. Yeah. Okay, so it might not be as hard as we think. Well, the Latin one will be hard then. Yeah, I think probably like Latin. Latin, Latin North, American South. teams? Fuck. Latin American teams are going to have a hard time, and that's pretty much it, right? Well, you know what? Maybe, maybe it just depends, because even when um, we went to try BO6 early, I met Dusamir, and he was there. With, oh, yeah. With... So I don't know. I mean, they must have a way. The, the, those teams might be good. I mean, obviously, I don't know. Yeah, what about like? I mean, he was he was he was nice. Oh when my I met him and all that, but he was there. <laughs> yeah, dude, fucking uh, Netos. No, uh, uh -huh. fucking what's his name? Gestico was just chilling at Cod Champs. So yeah. like, it's probably how hard is it for people who probably maybe not. Like maybe not. I don't know. Maybe maybe who who, who all right. Well, I mean, hey. It's a conversation I wanted to have. I wanted to see kind of, you know, um, yeah. if, if people, you know, if it's possible and who's kind of like not eligible. I think it's going to be hard for the people coming from um, 
I guess Latin America if they don't have whatever it is that they need at the moment. So chat. Well, I mean, we'll see. We'll see, man. But uh, um, boys, kind of that concludes today's podcast. Chat. Amazing, bro. I think today was a great day. We found out everything, and I'm so damn excited. And chat, I hope you guys are too, man. For real. Vegas. Um, boys, any last thoughts? Vegas, September 14th, chat. 15th, two days. Uh, well, it's here's the war zone. Yes, sir. I did not expect to find that out today. Me neither. No, <laughs> that's what I'm saying, bro. Like anybody who's going through Twitter, they just say, hold on now. He announced the land. <laughs> like, I would have been jumping, wish, dude. No, I really wish they did, you know like, something. They should have teased that shit with the countdown. That's what I'm saying. Right? Like, Watch out for this time, you know? Made a big deal. I feel yeah, like, like last year it was way more gas. Bro, they missed the opportunity to do it on on champs. Like, that would have uh, been the yeah. perfect time. Last chance qualifier. Champs would have been elite. Even, there was so many opportunities. Like, even their uh, spider tip, right? Sorry, it's because you all spider tip. She like... Oh, they're gonna be the land, and then she's like, "Oh, I'll save it for another time." Uh, you know, remember that they, they teased us. I know they oh, teased yeah, us. They said that in the finals. Yeah, that was dude. Cute, yeah, yeah, yeah man. I, I'm curious to see if teams are not able to make it. How are they going to choose who who gets picked up? Right, Rated's team got 13th are at sure? North America. Balls. Um, Almond's team they did dirt. They did bad, but they are a good team. I don't know if they're gonna prioritize having competition or whoever got 13th, whatever, even. Uh, sixth in the LCQs. Yeah. I don't know how they're going to prioritize it, but I do think, chat, there are going to be some teams that potentially might slip in, might not be able to go, and some teams are going to get be able to go in. So Damn. I think LCQ is probably going to be the way it works. That's the only way I can see it happening because that's how it was last year. So, yeah. so who, was it, who, who in LCQ would be on the cusp? Daddy, do we uh, have Rido? that? Rido? I'm pretty sure Rido was fifth. Yeah, Rido was fourth. Fifth. fifth, yeah. Or fifth, and then obviously the match point team that or that won the yeah they went from sixth to fifth or whatever. Oh yeah. my god! Or so they first. were literally right outside. Yeah, yeah they were right there. Yeah, they were right they outside. Half a point or something stupid, right? Almond and them weren't even were they close in, in in LCQ? I mean, we're about to see right now if we have yeah, the yeah that, that was that was all bad. <laughs> I think I mean, JD has it. Eighteenth. Yeah, they were. I remember them not being close. Eighteenth. They might still make it in though. Loophole rule. Yeah, Chad, Vexo's team is not going to get invited. <laughs> Just know yeah. that. Vexo's team is not no. getting invited. <laughs> yeah. Well, Here it is. remember last wow. year we read the rules. It's up to their discretion. So technically, they could pick whoever the hell they want. Wait, what oh, was I this? forgot, bro. It was a year of the under horses. Rated. Yep. I thought Rated was. Rated got six, right? Uh, six. Wait, Rated got sixth? So Wait, bomb be in, then. Yeah, so he could. If two teams, I mean, again, this is NA. Vaughn, Bond, I think those bottom three teams, chat right there. Ryder, Rated, and Vaughn. Those mm -hmm. are three teams that I think could potentially get picked up. How it's going to work, right? I don't know because, okay, if an EU team, an EMEA team cannot come, who do they, I'm assuming they're going to grab from EMEA, like, balls, right? EMEA, last chance qualifiers. If an, I, I don't think there's any going to be any North American team that doesn't show up. But what about if a Latin American team can't make it? Brazil or from, from Mexico? I think then they grab from North America. But in my opinion, I if it's not from, if it's from another, like somewhere else or like from EMEA, I think they grab from EMEA. Yeah. Well, uh, whoever like, has so, the higher points is what they did last year? No way. Whoever has the highest points? Wait, okay, so let's check EMEA. The highest points is 70. 70 right now? For right in there. 70. Ooh, we're about to pull it up right now. Uh-oh. I mean, that's the thing too. Like, if they, for instance, like, like EMEA can't come as well, then they'll just grab somebody from NA, right? Like, is yeah, that how that I, goes? Somebody said if it's, I, if it's based off the score, yeah. You know? All right, let's see. They gotta, they gotta figure everything oh. out. Oh. Let me see. So, fifth is gonna be uh, to <laughs> yeah, Tojo. It's definitely gonna be them. It's oh, Beluca them. Tojo. Rocket was Rocket just at sixth place. Oh, no, they, they called, right? Rocket. Oh, yeah, they with walled, the wall, because they wall won. card. So, Revolt, yeah. Luciano, and Skulls. Damn. Wow. That's okay. Crazy. Okay. This is gonna be. Uh, no, does that go go for the Latham? I don't know how that's gonna work, bro. Because NA it would be easier for them to be able to play because they're from NA. That's what I'm thinking. So they might choose NA players. Very true. Or it's gonna be Tojo because he has the most points. So hey, or man, they gotta be ready to hey. go. They gotta be we ready to go. Find out real soon, man. We gotta find out. By. But boys, oh, okay, sorry, good. Because if you really think about it, is like the Latham North. There's only two teams. I'm guessing. Probably possibly clear. Well, them south, south. Or, or three teams for uh, north. North, yeah. Well, remember last year they did like some nonsense, like average placement or some shit? Yeah, they? I don't know. 
I, I don't know how it works. I don't know Among that. the Brax. stages? Remember, it was something weird like that. I thought it was that because everyone was like complaining. Brax said that it would be coming from, it would be whoever has the most points. That's what they did last year. So whoever had the most okay. points in LCQ from even EMEA and North America, got the spot. I still think that's weird because lobbies are different. Skill levels, you get, might get more points in other lobbies than others, you know? But um, True. I don't know. Um, but it ain't too far away from, from each other. Yeah, to be yeah. Not bad, not bad. Okay. All right. Beautiful. All right, boys, listen. That concludes today's <laughs> podcast. Great, great fucking day. Let's get around. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, without a doubt. Boys, final final thoughts. No, no final thoughts before we go? I'm just excited. That's my final thoughts. No, without a doubt. Like, okay, I'm ready. W where do I bet on uh, SSD? That's, yeah. that's uh, <laughs> all over right now. Right? It's going to be a oh, cheap line. Man. Hey, man. <laughs> Guys, everybody at home, September 14th, September 15th in Las Vegas. Be there. I promise you it's going to be fucking unreal. We appreciate you guys tuning into the podcast. And we will catch you guys very, very soon on the next one. We appreciate you guys. And we love you guys. We'll catch you guys hopefully very soon. All right. Very soon. Peace, baby. Peace. 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 Peace.